pudding, and I have never made corn pudding before, and we got this recipe from Lori at Whippoorwill Holler. Thank you very much, Lori, for posting this, because we love corn pudding, but we've never made it. Now we're gonna start with the corn. We got the food processor. This is freezer corn that we put up earlier this year in September. And it's been in our freezer. We thawed it out last night. But we're going to pour it in the food processor. And we will have the ingredients at the end in our description and at the end of the video. Now we got it all in there. I just used my hand. <laughs> We're going to put the top on the food processor. Don't forget the top. <laughs> and we're just going to pulse it a little bit. Just kind of chop it up in smaller, smaller pieces. Okay, don't want to do it too much because you don't want to liquefy it too much. Looks good to me. Okay. Take that off. And next we're going to put four eggs in there. Eggs. Alright. And we're going to add one cup of heavy cream. Half a cup of milk. two tablespoons of sugar quarter cup of melted butter oh, I'm gonna take this off <laughs> don't trust yourself nope I don't I'll spill it everywhere it'll be all over the counter okay, the rest of it I can put that back on for then we got two tablespoons of flour. Two teaspoons of baking powder. And one teaspoon of salt. And then we're just going to put this on low. Messy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh well, we're gonna have to we gotta clean it up. A lot of liquid in there is what it is. Yeah. Well, I think that's good. It's all combined together. You don't want to like. Yeah, you don't want to. Don't want to beat it to death for sure. Oh. <laughs> you can tell I don't use the processor very much. <laughs> okay, and then we've got our baking dish. And we're gonna, we've already pre oiled right. it with some olive oil so it doesn't stick to it. We're gonna take this and pour it right into this pan. And we have already preheated our oven to 350 degrees. A little messy. Slowly. Looks good. Okay. Right 
that in here. Looks good. You can also add flavorings, different flavorings to this. At the point before we pour this into the pan, you can add onions or scallions or bell pepper or hot pepper or whatever you like to put in there. You can add it in at about that time when you're mixing the, all the ingredients together uh, to put your own sort of spin on it. So we're going to put this right in the oven. And it's going to bake for about 45 minutes, somewhere in there, depending on your oven. It'll be golden brown on top when it's done. There we go. Well, it's done. It's out of the oven, and it's cooled for a little bit. You can see how it's nice and browned, golden brown on the top. We're going to try it. Corner here. That's good. Get your corner. Mm -hmm. Here's my bite. Gonna try it. John's got his mm -hmm. bite. Smells good. Right there. Let's try it. Mmm. That's good. That's good. Ooh, really buttery. Mm. Ooh, that's, that's pretty good. good. Awesome. Well, if you wanted it sweeter, you could add another tablespoon or two of sugar. Yep. If but you I, wouldn't add no, I wouldn't add no more than that. But it is a corn pudding, not a sweet corn. Right. It's good. I like that. Perfect. Cattail. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to be in the way, don't you, dude? <sighs> that's the baby. The baby. Yeah. All right. Well, well it's been it was pretty good. A good, good. experiment. Delicious. Yeah. You guys like this video and want more cooking videos? Give it a thumbs up. Share it and subscribe it. See you next time. Next time.